about to do this first mile. I'm off of injury reserve. My back been killing me, so we're gonna see how how this works. We're gonna do uh, one mile out and then stretch, see how I feel, and then go from there. Yes, sir, Rip City Runs. Yeah, if you're saying... <laughs> So we just did a, a one mile workout through the Boom Park and uh, my back's feeling okay. It's not like, uh, I don't feel tender in the back right now. So, but not gonna push it cause it's the uh, it's first time I've done this much distance since I hurt my back. So, yep. Slowly getting back integrated into it, but you know, starting with the light mileage and then we just see where we go from there. But yep. No need Easy to overdo day. it. Because nope. we, we know what we're capable of. It's just testing to getting it, you know, seeing where you're at. Yeah. Trying to control That's the gimbal. I'm just getting back, getting back at it and, you know, putting back in the miles. And uh, eventually we'll be getting back to, you know, doing how we, how we was planning doing before. But, yeah, we're about to uh, probably wrap this up. We'll see you at the next stop.
considering it's a recovery run. It's just to stay consistent at what we're doing without overexerting ourselves because, you know, I hurt my back. <laughs> you know, and that, it happens, you know, injuries sometimes, small minor injuries are part of running, but it's still important to, you know, of course, get yourself in a, uh, you know, back 100% if you can, as fast as you can, but if you can't, then, you know, you can at least go on small recovery runs. Um, that's what we, you know, went on the day. Just a simple three-mile run, light, even pace. Uh, to, you know, try to, you know, just continue to keep the legs moving and the blood flowing, but also while uh, being able to not push too much, like like Deion alluded to. Because if you do have something, especially when it comes to the back, you know, you, know, you want to you know, take it easy when it comes to that. But recovery run is, you know, is essential when it comes to running too, because uh, you know it, it, it helps with all of that. It helps with everything. Yeah, physically uh, get back to where we were last. Like, I think I hurt my back over a week ago. I waited a week before I did anything after the injury. Then I ran on Wednesday, and I felt that a little tender, and I only did one mile. So I was like, well, okay, if I feel tender now, then I shouldn't do anymore. And now we're here, and we just did, you know, easy, easy mile to start. Then we did another half mile, then another half mile, then we did a mile, and that's the three miles, so that... I can kind of gauge what's going on and that's something that you can do too. You can still do your activities, but smaller increments until you can get back to, you know, pushing the limits again. So don't want to overdo it ever. You want to just, you know, work on resting and recovering. And then once you feel good enough, then slowly work back. You don't want to just out, out the gate hundred percent because then might be hurt again and hurt for even longer so it's not worth it yeah definitely don't want to push too much um three miles can be you know uh, if that's too much then you start off with two if two is too much you start off with one but you start somewhere and you just take it easy and ease back into it and you know eventually uh we'll be building back up in no time but hey you know that's how it goes sometimes yeah pretty much next week we're gonna get more miles in for sure but until then Thank you for watching the vlog. We appreciate it. Uh, it's the River City Runners. Get the miles in.